Hi, I'm Joe and welcome to the channel. In this video, I thought I would do something a little bit different. I thought I would share some gift ideas for guitarists. Now, these are things that you could put on your Christmas list or your birthday list, or things that you might want to get for a fellow musician or a family member. These are just some things that I use all year round that some of them, honestly, I just take for granted, but they're really nice to have. And there's also a couple of things that I threw in there that I just thought would be fun. Now, in true transparency, and truth in advertising, this is not a sponsored video by any means. Um, where I could, I did put links to everything in the description below. Some of those are affiliate links to be transparent, and all that means is that if you purchase those items for the normal price, obviously, or for any price that's listed on the website, then I get a little bit of a kickback. But I also try to do things where I also put the price to new items and also a price to items to Reverb.com in case you wanted to pick them up a little bit cheaper. At any rate, if you do use those affiliate links, I really appreciate it. Again, they support the channel for and allow me to give free content like this out. And if you don't use the links, that's okay too. Just copy the name of the product and do a quick Google search. Anyway, enough yapping. Let's go ahead and get started and jump in with the first item. Okay, the first item up probably isn't going to surprise anybody if you've seen any of my lessons. I often talk about how important it is to tune your instrument. Not only are you training yourself to play an instrument, but you're also training your ears how to hear music properly. So the first thing up, get yourself or get someone a high quality tuner. And in this case here, I do recommend the TC Electronics Poly Tuner. What I like about this tuner is that it has a nice bright LED. It works on the vibrations of the guitar so you can tune yourself in a loud environment. It also has a flip up little headstock and you can turn it and flip it and the display will flip so you can basically put it on your headstock in any sort of uh, fashion that you want. You can do it again as a poly tuner, which basically means you can strum all the strings at once and it'll put green lines up across for all the strings and any red ones mean that those strings are out of tune. Then you obviously you can zone in and, and play those strings individually and tune them like a normal tuner. Again, this is a little bit of a higher quality um, tuner, but it's well worth the money. The other types of tuners that I recommend and I use them all the time are the micro tuners by Diodario. And I put them a lot on the back of my headstock of my guitars. And they just really clip on really nicely here. A nice display as well that you can use. And they're very discreet. You don't really see them, obviously, when you're playing as much as that you would see. More like a TC Electronics thing clipped on here, hanging off the end. So those are the first two choices that I would recommend for a high quality tuner. Okay, next up on the list might seem a little weird, right? We use picks all the time. But what I would recommend is getting an assortment of picks. Picks at different thicknesses. In this case here, I do have some Dunlop nylons and I bought an assortment pack. So that basically means different picks, different thicknesses. And why I suggest this is, I don't think most guitarists realize how much the pick, how the thickness of the pick is and how firm the pick is, makes a difference to the sound of the guitar. They're basically like mini EQ pedals, if you will. Well, they're not a pedal, obviously, but they're a pick. But they do make the sound of the string differently. If you think back about those old Eagle songs, a lot of times you would hear a guitar strumming, but you really didn't hear the chords that well. It was more of a percussive thing. And just you heard the pick scraping across the strings. Well, that's because they were using really thin picks. So that's one thing. And again, thinner picks tend to have like a little bit more of a brighter sound. Now I'll get a real thick pick and we'll do the same thing and it'll be a little duller. So I would recommend an assortment of picks at different thicknesses. Next up on the list, I would recommend a cleaner kit. Um, this is a really nice one here that I have from Dunlop folks here. Uh, one of them is a guitar polish and cleaner, which is really nice to spray on your guitars and makes them look sh shiny and new and pretty. Comes in handy, especially if you make YouTube videos so you don't see nasty fingerprints or anything all over the guitar. Another thing that the kit usually comes with is uh, some nice lemon oil. Now, if you're not familiar with using this, if you have rosewood fretboards, it's really nice to use like a light steel wool once a year and kind of clean off the wood a little bit and then recondition the wood with some lemon oil. And a lot of the kits have a nice really uh, fibro, microfiber, I should say, cloth to help you wipe down the guitar and keep things nice and clean. So take care of your guitars, keep them clean, keep the fretboard clean. It's just a nice gift. What you're taking a look at right now is my makeshift toolkit. <laughs> I have some wire cutters to cut strings, some screwdrivers, but you know what would be even better and something that I need to put on my own gift list? 
That would be a high quality toolkit. These would be just a great investment to have, have all the assortment of tools that you might need to make sure that you can maintain your instrument throughout the year. We've all seen this one, right? The good old peg winder. Well, we've come a long way as humans and we've developed newer and cooler things. One thing I would recommend is now a powered peg winder. This thing is really great. This is called the Power Peg by Ernie Ball. It goes in two different directions. It has different slots on the front end based on the size of your tuning peg. And this really just saves you some time cranking <laughs> along, tuning up your guitar string or changing guitar strings and then tuning it back up with a peg winder. I did find though one thing, one critique I would say about this product is that it doesn't have, if you have an acoustic guitar, it doesn't have a peg remover like the old fashioned ones do. You see that little notch there? This is great to lift up and pull out your pegs when you're changing your strings on an acoustic guitar. It doesn't have that, so you'll probably still need this old guy for a while, but this really does save you some time when changing your strings. Now this isn't a glamorous item, and obviously it's an essential to have as a guitarist, but this is more actually more of a cost savings tip type of thing. I will recommend that you put on your list a bulk or a value pack set of your strings, your favorite strings that you like to use. I've just found through the years that this actually is more cost effective if you buy your strings in bulk. This next item, I have absolutely nothing to show you. <laughs> it's a concept. The concept is this, as musicians and guitarists, sometimes we're a little bit picky about the gear that we, <laughs> that we use and we want. So a great idea, obviously, is just a gift card. Gift card to sites that I recommend would be sweetwater.com, musicianfriends.com is a good one, and also reverb.com. You can get gift cards there, and sometimes you can pick up some used gear there that is really in great shape, and you're kind of helping, I guess, the environment by recycling these tools. But anyway, a gift card is just another way to go or to put on your list if you're not sure maybe what you want at this point in time, or you're not sure what the musician that you're buying a present for wants. Something that I would consider a gift, but actually more of an investment, is education. And I really think that we should be lifetime learners as humans. I just think there's so much to learn and so much to take in, and everything that you take in inspires and, and comes out in your music. So with that said, I would recommend an online course of some sort. Now there's great YouTubers that have online courses, and there's also great websites so a gift certificate maybe to something like truefire.com. I'm personally a customer of theirs. I've been a customer for a while for theirs. They're just, they have just a great and a vast um, array of different courses and diversity instructors. See, sometimes it's nice, even if you're learning the same thing, to learn it from a different instructor because you're getting a different perspective on how they view that material. So online courses and online education, that's something that I definitely would recommend as a gift. Well, isn't that cute? Look. Marilyn and Nash are taking a nap together. One thing I would recommend on a gift list is a high quality guitar stand. I bet you it's scientifically proven at this point in time, if the guitar is more accessible, one is more likely to play it. And that's important to have it available to you, but it's important to keep it safe. You know, you could throw it on your bed like this, but you can knock it off and break a headstock or something like that. And there's so many different flavors of high quality stands, or even some that have like locking heads. So when you put the guitar down, it'll actually close on it so it can't fall forward and fall out. You can also get ones with wider bases, like the one I have back here. It, has, it holds three guitars, but it has a wider base on it, so it's more stable that way. Or you could go ahead and get some guitar hangers that you can actually put on a wall. These are always great gift ideas to have a nice high quality guitar stand. And the last gift idea that I'll share, forgive me too if they have any Charlotte hair on them, but it's personalized merchandise, maybe from a favorite YouTuber that you watch or that you know you're buying for the musician that you're buying the gift for that they watch. You know, in this case here, here's Davey 540, that pedal show, right? Danish Pete. You know, these are just great personalized gifts because it's not just a standard t-shirt, it's actually something that that person enjoys watching and viewing. And also what's nice is you're helping support the YouTube community as well. Maybe there's also special places that, that they might like a shirt from. In this case here, when I worked in the music industry, I worked in Nashville and I really liked Roberts. That's always a great place, great place to visit. Great guitarists play there. If you ever get a chance to go there, I highly recommend it. Or just catch a, maybe like a Facebook live stream. There's some killer guitar players there. Or maybe a special, 
uh, recording studio. In this case here, Sunset Sound is my favorite because I'm a big Prince fan and I know that he likes Studio 3. Anyway, these are more personalized gifts than just, again, a standard t-shirt or a shirt. And I think they would really appreciate it as a gift. And that's it. That's my list. Those are the top 10 gift ideas for a guitarist and musician that I could think of. I hope that you found some value in it. Again, there's links in the description down below if there's any of these that you might want to pick up. And as always, if you found any value in this video whatsoever, please do me a favor and consider supporting the channel for free by subscribing down below, hit the like button, and knock on the bell and you'll be notified when the next video comes out. Until next time, happy shopping.